we are going to go through Hyrule Castle ruins and just use a ton of ancient arrows and see what we can get to drop from these guardians. So let's start with this one. What are you going to drop for us? Ancient shaft, some gears, two screws. Okay, what about this? Come closer. Nice. Okay, two down. What are you going to drop? We're looking for ancient cores. There is a way you can get ancient cores, and that's just by saving right before you defeat a guardian. Defeating the guardian, and then seeing if it drops. If you're patient enough, you can do that. There are a few other reasons why I want to uh, actually kill the guardians. One reason is actually increases your level. Uh, there is a level mechanic behind the, the game and killing guardians is one way to increase that level. That hurt, good thing I had a fairy. Hey, our first ancient core. Great. Oh, and a beetle too. So I am, I have quite a few fairies, which is really nice. Let's see, where's the next one? I think there are two over here. So we'll go over here and we'll do these two. So we have one ancient core. This is uh, getting the ancient cords and the giant ancient cores are going to increase the star armor level of our ancient armor that we created at Akala. So that's what we're doing. And using these ancient arrows is a very efficient way to destroy these guardians. It's not quite as fun, uh, but it definitely is, is nice. And it really isn't that expensive once you have some rupees. Uh, but if you only have weapons, there is a really easy way to destroy the guardian stalkers. The easiest way I've found is you get a guardian weapon or any good strong weapon, and you just take out the legs from underneath them. But taking out one of the legs does stun it, so you can just walk around and cut off all the legs. And then it becomes like a decayed guardian, and it's no longer a stalker guardian, which is really nice. So I see that there are definitely some up there. I know that there are a few this way. So let's do these two, then we'll circle back and we'll do the rest. There's something so satisfying with using these ancient arrows just to wipe an entire, uh, you know, castle full of guardians. Um, one of the reasons I'm doing this is the more enemies you defeat, the more likely a full moon will turn into a blood moon. And I'm trying to get a blood moon to appear uh, so that I can go into the blood moon shrine. So, let's do this. One left. You have to wait till the eye is like fully lit, I think. Only one ancient core so far. So I know there are more that way. But I think there are at least a few this way, so let's come back this way. We'll do a few of these guardians, then we'll come back around. Oh, someone sees us. Who is that? Oh, it's a decayed guardian. Okay, let's do this one first. The bow I'm using is a forest dweller's bow, which fires three arrows. But at the cost of only one arrow, so you only have to spend one arrow, but you get three arrows, and that combined with the blast radius of an ancient arrow really makes this much easier. Um, other bows that do that are lino weapons. They can be very useful for this. Hmm. Oh, there's one guardian. I don't have any regular arrows, so... How am I supposed to get over there? I guess we're going through the pain. Ooh, ooh. And I used another fairy. Okay. 
Good thing I went fairy hunting. <laughs> Okay, there's one more over here. I think there is. Where is it? There it is. How many guardians is this? They're definitely concentrated right here around the castle. Wow, lots of ancient materials. Hello. Oh, those arrows are just so fun to use. It's gratifying too that these are the one of the hardest enemies in the whole game. And just a single arrow right in the eye is just that instant death, which is awesome. Oh, there are a few guardians over here. Hello. I think the rain is making it so they can't hear me. <laughs> Let's see, there's one right there. Let's do this one first, this uh, decayed one, and then we'll go up there. Nice. And we'll go over and do that stalker. You're going the wrong way. Come back over here. Hey, yo. Hey, stalker. There we go. Ow. Wow, lots there. No ancient cores, though. Oh, there's no one right there. So if you're looking for ancient cores, this may not be as efficient as just saving and re-killing one, but if you are looking for a blood moon, I find that the more of these you take out in other monster camps, the more likely a blood moon is to show up. Don't mind me, I'm just killing the guardians. Looks like I have a Decayed Guardian right there, and another Guardian Stalker on the right. And then we'll go back into town and do a few other ones. Let's go straight into this laser. Does that sound like a lot of fun? Ooh! That hurt. Not as much fun as I thought it would be. Oh, that was a really low shot, but luckily, we still got him. Wow, only, did I only get one ancient core from all this? Wow. But lots of ancient screws, that's for sure. I know there are some over here. There's at least one. Where is it? Huh. Ah, there it is. I see it. I see it now. I think there's one here and then there's one across the bridge and that's hopefully one of these will give me an ancient core or if I'm super lucky a giant ancient core which that would be super awesome note maybe don't do this at night where all the moblins show up Is there one over on this part of the town, or do we have to get out of the town now? Okay, I don't see one over here. So let's go. Let's go over here. I know there's one across the bridge. Is there one over there? Hmm. 
There's that last one. There definitely are more than this, but I find it's easier just to wait for a, a blood moon. Whew, that was close. That was close. Royal Guard Shield. Was that a durability up, Royal Guard Shield? It was durability up plus Royal Guard Shield. That's like one of the best in the whole game. Let's see. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Thank you for your shield, though. That's whew, that's a nice shield. Let's go back to our ancient arrows. Hello, guardian. Nice. Oh, my forest will bow is badly damaged. Oh, only one ancient core this time, but definitely fun to farm the guardians with the ancient arrows. And I think they definitely paid for themselves. That's for sure. I've got way more materials than we used to make the ancient arrows. So that's me hunting these guardians at Hyrule Castle.